passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. What up, guys? It's Seth Kush. Just listen, right now, just know I am not offended if you decide that you don't want to listen to this. It's very niche. It's very niche. I still don't know how the fuck to say that word, so I'm just going to say it both ways. Leave me alone. Uh, I wanted to break down Eminem's top 50 songs. I have been just uh, heavily influenced by Eminem, been listening to him since I was 16. I think he's the greatest rapper ever. I think he's only getting better at 51 with the last album that he put out just a couple of weeks ago. I have nobody to really talk to Eminem about. So I'm left to just, you know, find random people on Twitter and, you know, read their comments and know that there's people out there like me. But Rolling Stone, for some reason, well, I mean, to obviously, you know, to bring attention to their website, they put out Eminem's top 50 songs of all time. And I'm not going to go over it. I, I already did a podcast. I, I started one where I read all of their 50 songs and it's just garbage. OK, guys, I mean, I will give you the list if you are so inclined, if you want to check it out or you don't want to Google it. I'll show you the list, but I was, it's so bad. And all the comments agreed about this list being so bad. Half the songs I've heard of every Eminem song, half the songs I haven't heard of at all. Um, it's just the, the parameters for how they have shit on there is crazy. I mean, kill shots, not on there. There's just some, some stuff where to me, I don't know who put it together. Maybe they were trying to be cool and go into Eminem's deep, deep catalog, but it was absolutely garbage. So I put together my top 50. It probably took me eh, 20 minutes or so. I just wrote down all the songs I was looking on his albums. And then I went to go count to see how many I had. And I had exactly 50. So I don't expect you guys to agree with me, but I just wanted to give a kind of a better, uh, a, a, I'm just going to say a, a more a well-educated um, opinion on Eminem's best songs. Maybe some of these are just my personal favorites. But a lot of these, and look, I don't love every song on here. A lot of these are just, you know, some of the pop hits that he had. But you got to put that shit on there. Uh, I'll explain my parameters, uh, you know, as I go along. Number 50, Houdini, the first single that Eminem just put out off his, you know, first album. Uh, it's all, or his last album, I should say. Uh, it's an amazing song. It caught on. You know, he had the Megan the Stallion line. Everybody, you know, caught wind of that. He had an awesome music video. So I'm putting Houdini there. And that could that could keep climbing. And that could get into, you know top 25 one day i got lyrical lemonade doomsday part two it's a cole bennett project it's eminem pretty much just rapping shit about benzino for about a minute and 45 seconds so that's strong i would check that guy as out uh 3 a.m in the morning with the keys in the door bodies laying all over the floor i think this was during uh eminem's like period where people really weren't listening and uh this i think this was on maybe relapse or refill so i got 3 a.m uh 47 i've got the adventures of moon man and slim that's a Kid Cudi Eminem project. That was actually the only song they put out probably about four or five years ago. But I'm a, I'm a huge Kid Cudi guy. And Kid Cudi and Eminem together definitely deserves to be on a list. Um, I've got Old Time Sake on here featuring Dr. Dre. I think that was on like Refill. Um, anything with Dr. Dre and Eminem, I'm going to put on the list. Even if it's a Dr. Dre song, Dr. Dre and Eminem together are just, they're they come as a package deal. So I've got a lot of maybe Dr. Dre songs and I got a lot of Eminem and Dr. Dre songs. So I got Old Time Steak featuring Dr. Dre, uh, Criminal, one of my favorite songs. The skit in there is amazing when he ends up shooting that banker and says, thank you. Uh, I got All Hell Breaks Loose featuring Dr. Dre, Nat, White America off the Eminem show. I think everybody knows that. White America. If you go back and listen to those lyrics, pretty pertinent to actually what we're going through in today. Uh, Fuel. Fuel is off his new album featuring J.I.D., I believe is how you say it. Uh, this kid's really good, and Eminem goes off on that song. Uh, Fuel really, really stands out, and I'm not going to leave out any of his new shit because 
It, you can already tell what's going to be legendary. And then number 40 is Not Alike. If you remember, Not Alike is the song um, off Kamikaze that Eminem did with Royce to 5'9", where they went in on Machine Gun Kelly. I think that was the uh, I think that was the first time that kind of started everything and got the whole beef going and all that before Eminem had to end MJ K or uh, Machine Gun Kelly's career. We'll get to that in a little bit. So those are the first 10. 39, I got Rock Bottom off his first album. I got Say What You Say, um, which is featuring Dr. Dre. Won't back down. You know I won't back down. 37 featuring Pink Won't Back Down. Uh, 36, I'm back. I believe this is one goes, that's why they call me Slim Shady. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, I've got Fight Music by D12 at 35. Don't forget about D12, The Dirty Dozen. Sing for the Moment at 34. Bad Meets Evil with Royce the 5'9". That's the project Eminem did with Royce the 5'9". They were called Bad Meets Evil. Um, oh, this one was actually... This one was actually on M's first album. The song was called Bad Meets Evil, and they ended up forming a duo, a group called Bad Meets Evil. Great story. 32 is Kill You. 31 is My Fault. And number 30, Cleaning Out My Closet. I don't even think, I don't even think the uh, Rolling Stone one had Sing for the Moment on there or Cleaning Out My Closet. There was something that was missing. All right, now on this one, I've got kind of a grouping of Haley songs. I know he's dedicated a lot of songs and written songs just for Haley. So I put those all together because there's no real separating any of them. I've got, um, I said number 30 is Cleaning Out My Closet. 29's My Dad's Gone Crazy, which is a great song. Um, if you have not heard it, uh, Little Baby Haley's on that adding. And I think she gets writer credits on the writer's credit. So I think that's some extra money. You know, not that she needs it, but good job for Eminem giving her writing credits when she was like eight years old. So I got My Dad's Gone Crazy, Temporary, which is on the new album. Temporary is a song written from Eminem's Emmett, like Eminem's dead and he's like giving advice to Haley on how to move on without him you know it's pretty pretty emotional shit and then I've got Mockingbird at 27 we're picking this back up with the way I am I am whatever you say I am love the way you lie featuring Rihanna not my favorite song not Marshall's best lyrical work but I mean that's a song that we played on the radio a shitload I'm putting that back to back with Monster. I'm friends with the monsters under my bed. Uh, that's also with Rihanna. I'm putting that in there. Those back to back. I don't again. I don't even like those songs, but I have to be fair. I mean, a hit's a hit, so we're putting it in there. Twenty three, baby. Now we're getting good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some water here so I can stretch this out. Hold on, let's go. Twenty three, till I collapse. Featuring Nate Dogg. To like collapse, I'm still in these rap songs. You feel it to the way that they're not killing it. Uh, definitely, I think everybody would agree that's one of the best. You cannot forget about Nate Dogg. Nate Dogg gave him a legendary hook, R.I.P., but you got to put that in there. 23. Just don't give a fuck off of Slim Shady's uh, first album. If you know, you know. Now here's something. Here's, if you guys aren't all caught up, you remember Guilty Conscience 1 with Dr. Dre? Well, there's a Guilty Conscience 2 on the newest Marshall Mathers album. I won't spoil it, but it, it's it's a very important song. It, the new Eminem album, uh, The Death of Slim Shady, it tells a story. And Guilty Conscience 2 is a, is a huge song in that story. So I'm putting Guilty Conscience 2, one of his new songs, all the way at 21. Guilty Conscience, the original, that's coming in at number 20. 19 here we go baby 19 superman i can be your superman we put anthrax on your tampax and slap you till you can't stand if you guys remember that one superman godzilla godzilla i think was that off uh, i can't remember which one that was with juice world juice world had just passed away i think he like overdosed on some pills or something he had very very promising young rapper type i know he's one of the most listened to uh you know rappers or hip hoppers of all time and he was very very new i love a great deal just as much as the next guy but i'm not gonna crawl through a bed of hot coals or go out of my way just to save a few bucks and if i am man it's got to be easy no hoops no bs so when mint mobile says it's easy to get wireless for 15 bucks a month with the purchase of a three-month plan i'm gonna call him out on it turns out 
It's really that easy. It's that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. That's a nightmare. Wish everything was as easy as mint. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk to text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your old phone number with you, along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer with your three-month premium wireless plan for only 15 bucks a month, you must go to mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. That's mintmobile.com forward slash B-U-B-B-A. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower on 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. So that is Godzilla with Juice World. Fastlane. Fastlane is with Royce the 5'9". That is the group Bad Meets Evil. Eminem, Royce the 5'9". They got the group Bad Meets Evil. They did Fastlane. Or Fastlane. That song's a banger. Not Afraid. Again, not one of my favorite songs, but I'm not afraid. That song is all over the place. So that was one of his bigger songs, too. Oh, I wanted to make sure I didn't put this song. To- oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, I messed up. Can I fix this? Can I pull the nose up on this? Oh, I put a song twice. Shit, 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 fuck. Okay, I got it. I put sing for the moment twice, guys, which I don't even know. I th- I think Rolling Stone left that off, so I had to get it. Oh, boy. Oh, this is really... I mean, we might have to have the top 49, guys. I think we're I think we're going top 49. Fuck. I fucked up. I thought he did so damn good. All right, we're going to kick this back up here. We're not going to let that slow us down here. Um, no Love featuring Lil Wayne. That was I, that was nowhere on Rolling Stone's top fucking 50 list. Get the hell out of here. Two of the greatest. Two of the great. Maybe the top two rappers of all time. Rolling Stone did not have this one. Unfucking believable. Forever. I know it's a Drake song, but Eminem had it on one of his albums. You've got Drake, Kanye, Lil Wayne, and then bringing up the end, hitting clean up, the greatest of all time, Eminem comes in there. And I read about that song. Kanye talked about how he redid his verse three times because he felt so much pressure because Eminem was on it. Eminem makes a reference in one of his newer songs about who had the second best verse on forever talking about he did. So you got to put, you got to put that in there. I don't know how that, how the fuck that got left out. What's the difference again. That's a Dr. Dre song. What's the difference between me and you. Uh, And I think that's got exhibit in it also from pit my ride. Uh, That one's coming in at number 12 purple pills guys. Come on D 12 purple pills. And then they made the radio version purple Hills they left that out. Another one they left out. When Eminem finished Machine Gun Kelly's career with Kill Shot, I know it was released out of nowhere. It's a, it's a, it's a four minute dead on going against Machine Gun Kelly, Kells, whatever you want to call him. All of a sudden, Eminem kicked him right out of the hip hop genre into like emo rock or something like that. I mean, the man is with Megan Fox, so I mean that's working out for him. But Eminem just totally knocked him out of the hip hop genre with kill shot number nine renegade featuring uh jay-z again to the grids of all time get together people talk about how eminem chewed up jay-z you know on that how eminem owned jay-z to me they they both do a great job and hearing those guys on a song together is is mind-blowing the renegade's one of those songs that people always talk about you know because there's so much debate about who the better rapper was on that Number eight, Rap God. Again, six minute, six minute, just fucking full on doing every type of rapping that he can do, every style, every rhyme scheme. He put that in there just to pretty much show that he is, he is the goat. We've got the real Slim Shady, one of the biggest songs of all time. I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. Number six, Forgot About Dre. Again, a Dr. Dre song, but... Eminem, I think Eminem made that song. I mean, you could just walk around going, Slim Shady, hotter than a set of twin babies. The Mercedes Benz with the windows up, but the temp goes up to the mid 80s. Call a man ladies. Like people have that fucking memorized. That is just just classic Eminem. Uh, Number five, I've got Without Me. I thought Without Me was a really, not one of my favorites, one of his, you know, stronger singles. 
um, when he popped back out onto the scene with the Eminem show. So that's in there. I've got number four as Stan. Stan, not not one of my favorite songs of all time, but I mean, how could you not put five? I mean, we've got a whole culture of calling people stands. Like there's this is it just had way too much impact. And then didn't he do did he do that with Elton John at the Grammys? I know that originally was like Dido, but did he do that song with Elton John at the I'm not sure, but Stan definitely in there. Here's one that's coming out of nowhere. This was off 50 Cent's album, his first album. You know, this was when Dre, Eminem, and, and 50 were all together, and they still are, but this is when they were all making music together. And Eminem just chewed this fucking shit up here. Uh, it's a great 50 Cent song. It's Patiently Waiting featuring Eminem. Uh, we t I've talked to just a few people on Twitter that, you know, I talked to Marshall Mathers about. And again, we talked about that this could possibly be one of his greatest verses of all time. And that was on a, you know, 50 Cent song. But again, I'm going to give Marshall Mathers the credit and just say those guys can share that because it is just, it's, it's brilliant from him. Number two, my name is, it was the first song that Eminem made with Dr. Dre five minutes after they met. It's a great story of, you know, going over to Dr. Dre's studio and all of a sudden Eminem just starts going, hi, my name is over this beat. And, and Dr. Dre's like, holy shit. And I think they recorded the song that day. And number one of all time, which was, which is like, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 on Rolling Stones list, Lose Yourself. Could be Eminem's biggest song of all time, Crossed Over. I worked in alternative radio when that song came out, Alternative Rock. It was, it's Fallout Boy, it's Taking Back Sunday. It's, uh, and we were playing Lose Yourself. Top 40 stations were playing Lose Yourself. Any, basically anybody outside of country stations we're playing you lose yourself it was such a, a a massive song it still is people still listen to it to get to pump pumped up for certain things i actually really enjoyed i actually really enjoyed the movie 8 mile and the soundtrack is great there's some a few other really really good songs on that 8 mile soundtrack but i did want to put lose yourself up there i think lose yourself is number 1 what did rolling stone have as their number as his number 1 oh shit it went away oh it went away i'm not trying to find it so I wanted to break that down for you guys. I, you know, uh, thanks for the ones that actually stayed and listened to this. I'm passionate about Eminem. I know this is very niche or niche. So it was just something I wanted to do as a solo. And, you know, I was pretty proud of myself for ripping off 50 songs you know, uh, slightly off the top of my head. So those are my 50. If you guys are uh, very, very angry at any of those, please just don't tell me that. Just tell me the ones that you agree with. All right. It's the weekend and, now, we don't need to be angry at each other. If we, if we're M, if, if you're still here, you must like Eminem, or you are just you. You must like me too, which is great. Then maybe you can love Eminem with me. Um, I'll be back next week, maybe, maybe the week after, whenever I might be inspired to come back and do another solo podcast. Probably not about the top fifty of anything, but you know, hopefully not sucky nonetheless. Bye.